Hey guys, this is Gurjap and today we are starting a new chapter limits and derivatives and in this video we'll be talking about limits. So, a value that a function approaches as its variable approaches some value is called limit of that function. Hmm, what does it mean? We can also say that a value we get closer and closer to but never quite reach. Well, you will not get anywhere with this definition. So let's just look at it mathematically. Suppose, uh, consider a situation. Suppose you are in your room chilling with your friends and suddenly you realize that everyone else is eating ice cream. Then you'll be like, where is my ice cream? Because you forgot it in the kitchen. So you get up and you start moving toward the kitchen. So as you're moving toward the kitchen, say you are in your room and this is kitchen. As you start moving toward the kitchen, if someone is looking at you from far, far away, suppose an intergalactic ninja is looking at you through a portal, he'd be like, this guy is approaching the kitchen to get the ice cream. Since you're not there, you're getting there, so we'll say you are approaching. This is an important word in this exercise, approaching. So if you can put the situation mathematically, I'll say, suppose there's a function f of x is equal to 2x square plus 3 okay I'm interested to find its value at x is equal to 3 cool so suppose I'll find firstly I'll try to find its value closer to 3 okay at this is value of x this is value of this function so at x is equal to 2.9 the value of this function becomes 19.9 8 to okay you can try and, and calculate it using your calculators second now I want to get closer to 3 okay because I'm approaching this value I'm not quite there yet cool so at 2.99 I'll get the value 20 sorry 19 point uh, sorry 20 point 8 8 and then at 2.999 I'll get the value 20.988002 so as we observe this we'll see that as its value of x is reaching or approaching the value of 3 the value of f of x is approaching the value of 21 okay so i can write it mathematically as the limit x is approaching to 3 as x is approaching to 3 the value of this function is approaching the value of 21 Cool, that is how we use limits. But if we can put the value of 3 directly, we'll get the same result in this case. So f of 3 will become 2 into 3 square plus 3, which gives us 9 into 2, 18 plus 3, 21. So if I can get the value directly, why would I use limit? Because all the functions are not the same and all the situations are not the same. So suppose the same scenario, you're trying to get the ice cream. Now, when you reach the kitchen, you're still approaching your ice cream so as you approach or reach that particular point where you left your ice cream there will be two situations number one you'll get the ice cream you'll be happy number two it will be stolen by that intergalactic ninja because he can't help it so in that case what will you do let's look at it with another function so suppose the function is f of x is equal to x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 and we are interested to find its value at x is equal to 2. Let's just put this value directly. We'll get f of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 4 upon 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0 upon 0. Now, in this chapter, we want to avoid this. This is a no-no. 0 by 0 doesn't mean anything. It is called indeterminate form. So, we doesn't get any result when we use this value directly. That's where limits come in use. So, suppose I want to find its value closer to x firstly so what is the closest point to 2 1.9 at 1.9 i'll get the value 3.9 at 1.99 we'll get the value 3.99 at 1.999 we'll get the value 3.999 so as we observe this we can say as the value of x is approaching what 2 as value of x is approaching 2 the value of f of x is approaching 4. So I can write it mathematically as limit 
as limit x approaches 2. Limit x approaches 2 doesn't mean x is equal to 2. It means x is reaching there slowly, slowly. Okay. So as limit x approaches to 2, the value of f of x is equal to 4. So I hope we were able to clear the concept of limits using these two examples. Now let's see how we write limits mathematically properly. So if I have, if I say that as x approaches to certain value a, f of x approaches certain value l. This l is called limit of this function and we write it as limit x approaches to a f of x is equal to l. Now we know what limits are. Limit is basically a value that a function gets arbitrarily close to or a value we get closer and closer to but never quite reach. Okay, now let's just dig into some example so we can further understand the concept of limits. Now we have a few examples and we need to find the limit in each of these cases. First one is we have to find limit x approaches to 3 x plus 3. Okay, here f of x is x plus 3. So I can write limit x approaches to, to 3 x plus 3 gives us 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. Easy. These are basic questions. Really easy. Next one is limit x approaches to 1 pi r square. So I can write here f of x is equal to pi r square, pi x square, sorry, pi x square. So limit x approaches to 1 f of x is equal to pi x square, which is equal to pi 1 square, which gives us pi. Cool. Next one, limit x approaches to 4. 4x plus 3 upon x minus 2 here f of x is equal to 4x plus 3 upon x minus 2 so limit x approaches to 4 f of x becomes 4 into 4 plus 3 upon 4 minus 2 which is equal to 16 plus 3 that is 19 upon 2 cool now the last example is here f of x is equal to x raised to power 10 minus x raised to power 5 plus 1 over x minus 1. So limit x approaches to minus 1 f of x will be equal to minus 1 raised to power 10 minus of minus 1 raised to power 5 plus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 clear. Now minus 1 raised to power even power we get 1 minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus 1 upon minus 2 which is equal to minus minus Plus, so 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 upon minus 2, which is equal to minus 3 upon 2, and hence the result. Now we have yet to come across a function which leads up to 0 by 0 form. So if in any case, if a function leads up to 0 by 0 form, what we do, we substitute its values, and if we can reduce the function in a form, x raised to power n minus a raised to power n, or x minus a, in this form, if you are able to reduce a function in this form, then its limit at x approaches to a all this condition shall be satisfied will be equal to n a is to power n minus 1 it is an expression and formula you should remember it now let's solve these examples this is for you to remember just in case so first one is limit x approaches to 0 a x plus b upon c x plus 1 if we put the value x is equal to 0 in this case, I'll get a into 0 plus b upon c into 0 into 1. It will not lead to 0 by 0 form. So I can write f of x is equal to ax plus b upon cx plus 1. So limit x approaches to 0, f of x will be equal to a into 0 plus b upon c into 0 plus 1, which is equal to b. As the result, next one, limit x approaches to 1 ax square plus bx plus c upon cx square plus bx plus a will be equal to this is f of x so limit x approaches to 1 f of x will be equal to a into 1 raised to power 2 plus b into 1 plus c upon c into 1 raised to power 2 plus b into 1 plus a which is equal to a plus a plus b plus c upon c plus b plus a which will cancel out which is equal to 1 okay now last example is limit x approaches to 0 x plus 1 raised to power 5 minus 1 upon x 
which will lead up to 0 plus 1 raised to power 5 minus 1 upon 0 which is equal to 0 by 0 form. This is a no-no. Just like you don't want to write your name in a death note, we don't want this in the chapter of limits. So we'll have to substitute it. So put x plus 1 is equal to y. If we put x plus 1 is equal to y here, we'll get y raised to power 5 minus 1 upon x here kya jayega? This will imply x is equal to y minus 1. So I'll get y minus 1 and limit x will approach to 1. So in this case, we'll reaching this state which will be equal to 5 into a kya hai pas? 1 yes 1 is to power 5 minus 1 which is equal to 5 and hence the result. Now we'll try and find limits of some trigonometric function but for that you should know these three expressions. First one is sandwich theorem. If we have three functions f of x, g of x and h of x such that f of x is less than or equal to g of x is less than or equal to h of x and we know somehow that limit x approaches to a f of x is equal to l which is equal to limit x approaches to a h of x means we side wale do functions ki value pata hai. so in this case gx is being sandwiched between h of x and f of x so i can write implying g of x limit x approaches to a will be equal to l means हमारे पास अगर तीन functions हैं हमें side के दो functions की value पता है उनकी limit पता है sorry तो बीच वाले function की भी limit भी उनके बराबर होगी now these two are also important expressions if you are given limit x approaches to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1 and limit x approaches to 0 1 minus cos x upon x is equal to 0 now let's try and solve some examples now next example is limit x approaches to 0 sin ax upon bx so if I multiply and divide it by ax, I can write sine limit x approaches to 0 sine ax into upon bx into ax upon ax which is equal to limit x approaches to 0 sine ax upon ax into ax upon bx. How many do we have interchange kar diya? Multiplication mein ho sakta hai. So we know limit x approaches to 0 sin ax upon ax is equal to 1 so this will become 1 and x x cut gaya final answer kya gaya this whole term becomes 1 final answer is a upon b cool next one limit x approaches to 0 cos x upon pi minus x so we know cos 0 kya hota hai 1 niche bhi pi minus 0 ho jayega kya reh jayega pi to 0 by 0 form nahi ban rahi to hum direct put kar sakte hain we can write cos 0 upon pi minus 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 so 1 upon pi is the answer now next example limit x approaches to pi sin pi minus x upon pi into pi minus x i can also write it as 1 upon pi pi constant above jayega limit x approaches to pi sin pi minus x upon pi minus x ye kaun si form mein is form mein this whole term will be equal to 1 so final answer is equal to 1 upon pi cool last example limit x approaches to 0 ax plus x into cos x upon b sin x so i can write it as limit x approaches to 0 b constant hai, bar gaya, 1 upon b into in dono terms mein kya hai, x common hai. so x into a plus cos x upon sin x which is equal to 1 upon b limit x approaches to 0 x upon sin x in dono ko alag se liya, into a plus cos x in ko alag se liya. okay so solving it further i can write it as in dono ke limit kya kar dunga mein alag alag so 1 upon b into limit x approaches to 0 x upon sin x into limit x approaches to 0 a plus cos x will be equal to 1 upon b 
अब x को अगर मैं नीचे ले आता हूँ साइन के साथ डिनोमिनेटर में सो आई कैन राइट वन अपॉन लिमिट साइन x अपॉन x इन टू लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू जीरो एक्स अप्रोच इज टू जीरो ए प्लस कॉस एक्स नाउ वी हैव वन अपॉन बी ये कौन सी फॉर्म में है लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू जीरो साइन ए एक्स अपॉन ए एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन की फॉर्म में सो आई कैन राइट इट एज दिस इज इक्वल टू वन और यहाँ पे अगर मैं लिमिट पुट कर रहा हूँ तो a प्लस कॉस जीरो कॉस जीरो क्या होता है वन सो आई गेट वन अपॉन b इन टू वन ए प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस वन अपॉन बी एंड हैज द रिजल्ट और नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट सो इफ यू है फंक्शन हुज लिमिट इज l एज x अप्रोच इज टू ए तो नंबर लाइन पे अगर मैं x को अप्रोच करा रहा हूँ एक्स कोई नंबर ही हो ए कोई नंबर ही होगा तो सपोज ए की वैल्यू है यहाँ पे अब हम ए को कहाँ से अप्रोच कर सकते हैं इफ़ सपोज ए की वैल्यू है ए इज इक्वल टू टू आई कैन अप्रोच इट फ्रॉम द हायर वैल्यू मतलब मैं इसको फाइव फोर थ्री मतलब हायर वैल्यू से लोअर वैल्यू की तरफ भी अप्रोच कर सकता हूँ या फिर मैं इसे लोअर वैल्यू दैट इज़ माइनस टू माइनस वन दैन ज़ीरो दैन वन कुछ इस तरह से भी इसको अप्रोच कर सकता हूँ मतलब ए को अप्रोच करने के दो तरीके हैं वन फ्रॉम द हायर वैल्यू और द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ ए सेकेंड फ्रॉम द लोअर वैल्यू और द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ ए दैट्स वाई एम यूजिंग द नंबर लाइन ओके सो अगर हम लिमिट को राइट हैंड साइड से अप्रोच कराते हैं उसको बोलते हैं हम राइट हैंड लिमिट और अगर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड से अप्रोच कराते हैं तो उसको बोलते हैं लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड मीन लोअर लोअर साइड से इसको अप्रोच कराएंगे राइट हैंड साइड मीन हायर साइड से अप्रोच कराएंगे सो सपोज मेरे पास कोई फंक्शन है एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स केयर प्लस वन कुल मेरे को इसकी वैल्यू निकालनी है लिमिट एट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू फाइव कुल तो मैं इसकी लिमिट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड से भी निकाल सकता हूँ राइट हैंड साइड से भी सो so, अगर मेरे को इसकी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड से इसकी लिमिट चेक करनी है आई कैल राइट लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू फाइव लेकिन इसकी सुपरस्क्रिप्ट क्या लगाऊंगा मैं नेगेटिव साइन फॉर लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट तो इसकी वैल्यू क्या आएगी एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री यहाँ पे फाइव के साथ नेगेटिव साइन नहीं लगेगा मैं सिर्फ ये दिखाने के लिए इसके ऊपर नेगेटिव लगा रहा हूँ कि ये लेफ्ट हैंड साइड से इसको अप्रोच करा रहा है ओके सो फाइव स्केयर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सिक्स फॉर राइट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू फाइव अब राइट हैंड लिमिट के लिए क्या लगाते हैं हम फाइव के ऊपर सुपरस्क्रिप्ट में पॉजिटिव साइन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वैल्यू फिर से क्या आएगी सेम थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन दैट इज सेवेंटी सिक्स सो अगर किसी फंक्शन के केस में हमने लेफ्ट हैंड साइड की लिमिट में निकाली राइट हैंड साइड की लिमिट भी निकाली एंड इफ लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड लिमिट दिस विल इम्प्लाइज दैट लिमिट एग्जिस्ट फॉर दैट सैड फंक्शन तो अगर आपको किसी क्वेश्चन बोला हो फाइंड इफ लिमिट एग्जिस्ट फॉर दिस फंक्शन आपको लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट भी निकालनी पड़ेगी और राइट हैंड लिमिट भी और अगर एक दूसरे के इक्वल होते हैं देन वी से दैट द लिमिट एग्जिस्ट अदरवाइज लिमिट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट नॉन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टू फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स एज एक्स अप्रोच इज टू वन इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स केयर माइनस वन इफ एक्स इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू टू एंड माइनस एक्स केयर माइनस वन इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू वन सो इन दिस केस हम क्या निकालेंगे लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट सो लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट विल बी एफ ऑफ एक्स लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू वन नेगेटिव ऑन द सुपरस्क्रिप्ट विल बी इक्वल टू अब एक्स वन से कम कहाँ पे है इस केस में एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन में सो आल राइट एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन पुट द वैल्यू वन वन स्केयर माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो कुल नेक्स्ट राइट हैंड लिमिट इज लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू वन पॉजिटिव साइन ऑन द सुपरस्क्रिप्ट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू अब एक्स वन से बड़ा मतलब राइट हैंड साइड से अप्रोच करा रहा है कहाँ पे माइनस एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन के केस में सो माइनस एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन विल बी इक्वल टू वन स्केयर माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड हैज द रिजल्ट सो लेफ्ट एंड लिमिट इन दिस केस लेफ्ट एंड लिमिट इज नॉट इक्वल टू राइट हैंड लिमिट इम्प्लाइज लिमिट फॉर एफ ऑफ एक्स 
is equal to limit for f of x does not exist. And in this example, we have to find limit x approaches to 0 f of x if f of x is x upon modulus of x at x not equal to 0 and 0 if x is equal to 0. Now, before we solve this example, let us let me remind you property of modulus of x. Modulus of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0 and modulus of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. Sorry. This is the property of modulus of x. Now let's begin. Left hand limit in this case will be equal to limit x approaches to 0 but from left hand side so negative on the superscript f of x is equal to limit x approaches to 0 negative x upon x mod sorry x mod now since left hand side of 0 is all negative and we are approaching from left hand side in this case so modulus of x will be equal to negative x so we get limit x approaches to 0 negative x upon minus x is equal to limit x approaches to 0 minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 cool so for right hand limit we have f for limit x approaches to 0 positive x upon x mod is equal to up kyunki 0 se badi is ki value modulus of x kyoga positive so i can write limit x approaches to 0 x upon x x x cancel which is equal to 1 so left hand limit is minus 1 right hand limit is 1 so i can write left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit or you can also write it as limit x approaches to 0 negative f of x is not equal to limit x approaches to 0 positive f of x and hence the result now in this example we have to find the limit of f of x at x approaches to 5 where f of x is equal to modulus of x minus 5 so left hand limit in this case is limit x approaches to 5 f of x is equal to limit x approaches to 5 superscript may negative sign x mod minus 5 which is equal to up modulus of x is case mein dono bar kya hoga positive kyunki hum zero se niche that is negative sign consider nahi karenge kyunki 5 se pichla ka number kya hoga hum 2 3 4 kuch is tarah approach karenge to negative sign nahi aayega so we get 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0 for right hand limit limit x approaches to 5 positive f of x is equal to limit x approaches to 5 positive modulus of x minus 5 is case maybe modulus of x kya hoga? x ke equal so we get limit x approaches to 5 positive x minus 5 which is equal to 5 minus 5 which is equal to 0 implies that the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit and hence the limit exists in this case as the result so guys this was it for today next time we'll learn about derivatives till then keep practicing